Barakata Yahawa, Barakata Yahawashai, Bahasham, Rakahakodash, Barakatum. First and foremost, I want to give all praises, glory, and infinite honors to Yahawa, Bahasham, Yahawashai. Double honors to the apostles and elders, a great millstone who rule and teach well. And peace and salutations to you, sincere Aki. I'm out there pushing this word in truth and sincerity to the four corners of the globe. May you brothers endure until the end. This is the brother Raya with another video. And in this video, I'm going to play a clip from the brother GMS Watchman's YouTube channel titled Disturbing. What are they teaching your children? And you can see the title right there. The G-A-Y-B-C's. This is a picture book for kids. And as we'll see in this short clip, this is just another example of why the United States of America is known as spiritual Sodom and Egypt as pursuant to Revelation 11 verse 8, which we're going to get. And the brother has a part of that precept right there. The great city, which spiritually is called Sodom. Bro, they getting out of hand, bro. I'm just trying to buy my baby some books, bro. Look at it. A is for alley. B is for buy. C is for coming out. D is for drag. These are children books, guys. These are children books. ML Web. And notice how in those images they got a lot of so-called uh, black and Hispanic looking children in it. And you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans who are the true children of Israel. And you're the main target for this alphabet agenda beginning with LG out here. Because these Edomites are so-called white people. More specifically, the elites know that you're the children of Israel. And know that the further they take you away from your power, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, the more that they and these other heathens can rule over you and abuse you. You're disrespectful, bro. My kids are just trying to learn, okay? They're just trying to learn. Why are you writing books like this? Can't they just be kids and learn their regular ABCs? What is going on? No, these elites want to taint the minds of the youth to get them molded into what they uh, want people to be like in their NW0. And they're using the United States of America as the main focal point to push these wicked and wayward ideologies onto the rest of the planet. That is still for family, though. What is going equality? Like, we got a lot of gay, like, G is for gay. Like, we got a lot going on. <laughs> non binary, non. What? what Listen, like this is picture books. This is picture books. My four year old don't know what the f non binary is. They don't know what lesbian is. Why are you writing this, ML Web? You're disrespectful. Read this for your own kids. The G A Y, the Hey B C's, <laughs> just complete madness. But now let's get into these precepts. This is Revelation chapter 11, verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt where also our Lord was crucified in that great city, so-called great city, is the United States of America. And from that clip, we saw one of the many reasons why it's known as spiritual Sodom. It pushes that LG agenda onto the rest of the planet, and especially onto you Israelites in the United States of America. There's social media, Hollywood, it's a educational system, socio-political systems etc etc and it's known as spiritual egypt because it's serving in the exact same function that ancient egypt served for the children of israel as a place of hardcore bondage and slavery and this modern day spiritual egypt has a lot of the same practices and symbolism that ancient egypt had just look at the back of your one dollar bill with the pyramid with the all-seeing eye on it the washington monument is an obelisk Bread and beer are very big food staples in the U.S., and they were big food staples in ancient Egypt. You've got places like Memphis, Tennessee. You've got uh, pyramids scattered throughout the country. You've got a pyramid in Memphis, Tennessee. And then you've got that uh, hotel in Las Vegas that's shaped like a pyramid. The list goes on and on. And those dead bodies in the streets of the great city are the spiritually dead bodies of the Israelites, more specifically two-thirds of the nation of Israel, 
who are hard-headed and refuse to return back under their power, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. They want to be everything under the sun, but who they truly are. They want to still call themselves so-called Black, Latino, Native American, Mexican, African American, Cherokee, Choctaw. They're Roman Catholics, Baptists, some atheists, some in the, the Black unconscious community, Kemetic, red-blooded patriot Americans, and uh, a growing number of you Jakes are following after the alphabet group beginning with LG. And with all this being the case, this modern day spiritual Sodom and Gomorrah is gonna suffer the same fate that ancient Sodom and Gomorrah suffered for its wickedness. It's gonna be hit with fire and brimstone from the sky. But in this case, that fire and brimstone is gonna be 200 million nuclear missiles which is going to turn this place into the biblical lake of fire from sea to shining sea and then a desolate uninhabitable wasteland afterwards and besides being known as spiritual sodom in egypt in revelation 11 verse 8 the united states of america in the scriptures is also known as spiritual assyria as well as babylon the great the virgin daughter of babylon mystery babylon the mother of harlots that has made the world drunken off of her wines or her different philosophies that she pushes out. The LG group being one of them, feminism, democracy, capitalism, the list goes on and on. And we can see the fruits of the wicked labors of, the, of this wine that the United States of America has made the world drunken off of. A bunch of bugged out weirdos running around. And what leads to what? The G-A-Y-B-C's, a picture book for kids to teach them wickedness and perverseness and degeneracy at a young age. But this is Second Esdras chapter 2 in the Apocrypha. I'm going to read verses 8 to 9. Woe or destruction be unto thee, Assur, which is Assyria. And again, the United States of America is also known as spiritual Assyria. Thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee, those that are a part of the alphabet group beginning with LG, and they also promote that agenda onto the people in the United States of America and onto the rest of the world. And again, their main target are you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the true children of Israel. Bro, they getting out of hand, bro. I'm just trying to buy my baby some Israelite-looking you know? kids. Look at it. A is for Alley. B is for Bob. Southern Kingdom. C is for coming out. D is for drag. Look like you got the Northern Kingdom there. Woe be unto thee, Assyria, thou that hidest the unrighteous in thee, the hey BCs. O thou wicked people, remember what I did unto Sodom and Gomorrah, hitting it with that fire and brimstone from the sky. And it's no longer an inhabitable place whose land lieth in clods of pitch and heaps of ashes. Even so will I do unto them that hear me not, saith the almighty Yahweh. And these wicked people, these Edomites, the so-called white people in the United States of America, and especially worldwide, aren't hearing the words of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. They can't even pray or repent to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai. So they're going straight down the road to perdition or destruction. But you Israelites that continue to cleave under these Edomites and follow after their ways, you're going to go down that way to destruction with them as well. When the United States is hit with those nuclear missiles, you're going to be a part of that fuel for the fire. This is Isaiah chapter 13. I'm going to start at verse 19. And Babylon, the virgin daughter of Babylon, Babylon the Great, spiritual Sodom in Egypt, spiritual Assyria, the United States of America, the glory of kingdoms, that so-called great city where these people used to think that America was paved with streets of gold, the land of opportunity, the so-called American dream, which as we can see has always been a nightmare. The beauty of the Chaldees' excellency shall be as when the Most High overthrew Sodom and Gomorrah. 
whose land lieth in clods of pitch and heaps of ashes. And it's going to be no different with this modern day Sodom and Gomorrah when it's hit with those 200 million nuclear missiles, a desolate, uninhabitable wasteland. It shall never be inhabited, neither shall it be dwelt in from generation to generation. Neither shall the Arabian pitch tent there, neither shall the shepherds make their fold there. When those nuclear missiles hit this place and turn it into the biblical lake of fire, after the dust settles and it's that uninhabitable desolate wasteland no man woman or child will ever set foot on this place ever again after a time only desert creatures will dwell here as it's about to say in the next verses but wild beasts of the desert shall lie there and their houses shall be full of doleful creatures and owls shall dwell there and satyrs shall dance there and the wild beasts of the islands shall cry in their desolate houses and dragons in their pleasant palaces, and her time is near to come, and her days shall not be prolonged. And if you've got that spiritual eye salve, you can clearly see that her time is very near to come, and her days are no longer being prolonged. As the elder Yashuamba always says, these people on this planet, especially in the United States of America, are exhibiting that wicked, flood-like behavior. And what did the Most High do with those people? He drowned them out with the flood, the first death. And now he's about to burn them out with that second death, those nuclear missiles. So that's it with this video. And with this video, I hope you sincere Akiem were edified. Just keep strong as we can clearly see we're almost out of this final wicked captivity of the heathen nations, chiefly of the Edomites. And as always, I'm going to say a Bob Babal, Kwam Yasharala. And until next time, Shalom.